Um, I guess uh, talk about the fact that you guys are three days away now from getting things started here. Uh, where do you feel like the team's at practice-wise? You obviously uh, did a lot during the offseason to make sure that uh, you guys would be really far along once you got started. Uh, where is that all at, and how excited are you guys to get started? Um, we're pumped. I mean, we've been we've been in the gym. We've been doing double days. It's been hot, and finally it's going to all pay off once our first game start up here uh, next weekend. And um, I think – I just have a great feeling when I step in the gym with this group of girls. I, I have a good feeling about this team and about the potential that we have. And um, we've just been working really hard on being a very good serving and passing team. We have a we have a pretty good offense going right now, but we, we're really working on getting our serving better and our, our, our defense. Mike referred to this in the press conference, talking about how you guys are more physical this year. Um, obviously, you've got two freshmen who've stepped in right away, and Ashley and Tori, and uh, they probably have brought some of that physicality to the gym as well as uh, you and Tabby coming back. Just talk about uh, that athleticism uh, and, and just what you guys kind of bring in that maybe is even a little bit better in terms of that from them last year. Um, the thing with Tabby or, or Tori and um, Ashley is they don't seem like freshmen. They kind of came in with, with that confidence, and Ashley being here in the spring kind of gave that, her a little bit more of an edge. And it's just it's amazing to see such new people come in and, and take such a take charge on the court like they have. And um, I think it's going to be really important for us to, to we're going to be more well-rounded in defense and in offense this year, and whether that's in the front row or the back row. Obviously, as a senior yourself, you can uh, emphasize even more with the Haley situation in terms of having an injury going into your senior year. Uh, just talk about the team's kind of reaction to that and the response. And obviously, it's something that's uh, unfortunate, but at the same time happening this time of year, it lets you kind of regroup and uh, prepare going forward. Right. I mean, obviously, it's, it's always a dagger to the heart when you see one of your teammates go down like that. But at the same time, we kind of have that. We're kind of at a crossroads where we can either dwell on it, on what happened or we can kind of step up and, and kind of move on with our season. And I think she would rather us do that than, than the first one. And um, I just think that it's, it's great that she's still going to be around. She's still going to be on the sidelines uh, helping the newcomers out and being that leader, um, even if she's not playing. But um, I think that the team has responded really well to what's happened. We're still staying really positive with, with her. And um, we, it, just, it just calls for other people to step up in her position. We've talked about uh, you, kind of your growth as a leader on um, the last couple of years uh, within the program. Just talk about um, you know the transition for you of coming in as a freshman, coming in with the highly touted class, and just how you've progressed throughout your career and what you've kind of learned to get to this point and how quickly it's gone as a senior. Uh, I've come a long ways <laughs> from my freshman year. Um, I just I think I have to give it to the people ahead of me who have kind of made me the way I am. Um, I, I'll never forget Kelly Schmidt. She was a great mentor to me. She was a middle blocker and, and what a great friend and still is. And I just think that um, Minnesota, the program of Minnesota Volleyball, has, has done a great job of having the older people help the, the incoming people. Um, and that's what's happened to me. I, I kind of came in not really knowing what to expect. And I just I knew I had to be mentally tough. I knew I had to be um, just be there for the new coming people as well and, and I've really taken taken it upon myself to, to be the best person I can be for the for the good of the team. And you've been through this now three times but uh, when you prepare for the non-conference season as opposed to the Big Ten season what do you guys try to develop as a team here especially with uh, two players that are probably going to be on the floor right away having their first college division one volleyball experience what do you guys look to kind of accomplish here the first four weeks as you guys kind of you know play against tough competition and get ready for the Big Ten season? Um, it'll be a nice time to see what works for our team, I guess. We, we haven't played much yet, um, so kind of throwing out a group of girls out there, it'll really kind of test the chemistry of our team, and I think that's going to be really exciting to see how well we all work together. And also um, just just running plays, getting a feel for each other on the court, and how people take to pressure being um, playing in front of a large crowd. It, it's, it's just going to be exciting to see what happens. And finally, just uh, talked about, uh, you know, we've talked about how exciting it is to have it get closer, but now you're literally a couple of days away. Um, and, and just how cool it is to be able to start off the year at the Sports Pavilion in the first two weeks. I know last year you guys were away a lot at the beginning of the year, really didn't get a chance to play in front of the home crowd until Big Ten season got started. How good is it to be able to start off right away off the bat and play in the Sports Pavilion in two tournaments? It's going to be great. I, I love playing at home. I love being in the pad and. Um, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to build us a little bit more confidence right, right away, which I think we'll need.